Hi, Kipsters. This is Miss Rosado again for some shared reading. How are you doing today? Great. I'm doing good. Today is Wednesday, and I'm so excited because we are going to be reading a new book. Now, today we are going to read a new book about robots. Our last book was nonfiction. It gave us information about real robots that we can find in the world. But today's book is fiction. What does that mean? Right. It means that it's not real. It's fake. It's make-believe. Now, in our story today, this boy gets a robot for a present. Now, there is a problem with this robot. And we are going to read to find out what the problem is. So, every day, we've had a different goal, a different challenge. We've had to look for our sight words or popcorn words. We've had to figure out what the tricky words are, unsolve these words. Um, we've had to ask questions about our text. And today, we are going to find the main idea of this story. So, what that is going to be our end goal, our question. What is the main idea in the story called Rude Robot? Now let's begin reading. Get our star over here. Ready. Rob opened his huge birthday present. A talking robot, said Rob. I'll name you Bot. What do you see in this picture? It's a boy with a gift and the robot has fallen down of the box. So we know that that was his gift, right? Now let's look at this word right here. Birthday. Can you find a word inside birthday that you already know? Right. It's day. D-A-Y day. Great. Let's continue. Rob took Bot to meet all of his friends. But one by one, his friends stopped playing with Bot. Hmm. Why do you think his friends stopped playing with Bot? Let's think about that. We don't know. We look at the picture. We see that the friends are going away. And here's Rob with Bot and they're by themselves. So we have to keep on reading so we can find out why. Now before we go on to the next page, let's look at this word, playing. Is there a part of that word that you already know? Right, ing, I-N-G. We already know that if a word ends with I-N-G, we're going to finish it with ing, playing. Great. Let's continue. Rob soon found out why. Bot was rude to people. He never said hello or please or thank you. Oh my, that's very important. Robot is being rude. Why doesn't the robot say please or thank you? Yeah, maybe the robot doesn't know anything about manners. Or maybe he is mean. But let's think if that's really true. Do you think a robot can just be mean? I think you're right. I think it's just that he doesn't know about good manners. Let's continue. Bot sat like a big tin can when Grandma came to visit. You should say nice to meet you, Rob said. So what do we see here? We see Bot just sitting there with a frown, just serious, and he's not saying anything to the grandma. But I'm thinking that maybe he just doesn't know. Now let's look at this word. Did you know that word was grandma? If you didn't know, how would you be able to figure out that that is the word grandma? Right, we could look at the picture. We see a grandma right here. We see that it begins with a G, 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 grandma. And we can figure out 
piece by piece that that is the right word. Being rude isn't cool, Rob said. A robot can learn anything, so you can learn good manners, he said. So here Bot has a sad face, but maybe it's because he doesn't understand. Now he is going to learn. Do you think he can learn good manners? Now before we continue, let's stop at this word, anything. How would you figure out what this word is? Right, we know ing is ing. We know that th sounds like f. So we know that that word is ing, thing. We figure out this chunk here, eh, it's an a, but there's a y, any, anything, anything. Now is he gonna teach him just anything or what is Rob going to t teach Bot? He's going to teach him some good manners. Good job. Bot nodded and burped. Uh-oh. Say excuse me when you burp, said Rob. Excuse me, said the robot. Good job, said Rob. So this, is going, this isn't going to be so hard after all. Maybe it's just that Bot didn't know, and now he is ready to learn. Now if we look at this word right here. That word is nodded. Now we're gonna look at the ending of that word, ed. Sounds like ed, ed. Now that ending means that it already happened. It happened in the past. It's not happening right now. He is not nodding. He nodded and he stopped. So when he nodded, he burped, and that's when they continued talking. And that's when Rob explains that when you burp, something that you can say is, excuse me. So what did Bob, what did Bot learn on this page? Right, Bot learned to say excuse me when he burps. Good job. Rob gave Bot a new battery. Do I say excuse me? Bot asked. No, you say thank you when a person helps you. Oh, so here we go again. Bot doesn't know. He thought he would have to say excuse me. But instead, he says thank you. Now, do you see any words here that you already know? Right, we see a few words. Do, I, say, me, new. Now, do you see a word that you didn't know? An example, battery. Did you know that was the word battery? If you didn't know, how would you divide it? I know I see a word here that we already know. B-A-T, bat. So I know that this word would start with bat battery, and that's how we could figure it out. Now, now that we already did this, let's think of a time when someone helped you like Rob helped Bot. Okay, now that you're thinking of that time, what was something or what did you say when that person helped you? Did you say excuse me or did you say thank you? Thank you, right, because a person was helping you and you were showing appreciation. Let's continue. Bot burped again and nodded. He learned when to say hello and please and thank you. This is easy. Bot said. Look at that. He just learned something new. This is so exciting to see Bot learning his manners. 
I wonder what the kids will think of him now. Soon, Bot opened doors for people. He used his napkin. He waited for his turn to talk. Bot is so cool, said Rob's friends. So, what do you see in this picture? Right, Bob's handing a slice of pizza to a friend. Rob is encouraging him by giving him, right, a thumbs up. And everybody else is smiling, so they are having a good time. Now, let's stop at this word right here. Let's look at this word, napkin. Can you find the word nap inside that word? Right, it's the first part, N-A-P, nap. Now let's sound out the other part, k-i-n-kin. And we, we put them together, nap, kin, napkin. Great job. Now why do you think that bot is cool now? Why do the friends, why do Rob's friends think that bot is cool now? Right, because now Bot has good manners and he is kind and nice to everybody else. So now they can be good friends and they can enjoy their time together. Let's read this last page. You're the best robot in the world, said Grandma. We remember this word. Thank you, said Bot as he burped. And excuse me, he said. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Now he burped and he already knew what to say. So in this book, Bot learned so much. Now, what do you think the main idea of the story is? Right, there could be so many answers, but the main idea is that Bot had to learn good manners in order for him to make good friends. Because as we've talked before, we need to be kind and nice to everybody. And there are different things and words that we can use to express that when we are in different situations. For example, when we make a mistake or when something happens, we can say, excuse me. When someone helps us or when someone is being nice to us, we say, thank you. When we're coming to school in the morning or when you're waking up or something and you're meeting someone, you can say hello or good morning. What are some other things? What are some other words that you can use to show people that you have good manners? That's great. So now we know that the main idea in the story was that Bot needed to learn good manners. And that when he did, things turned out for the better. Now, boys and girls, tomorrow we will read a new book. I wonder if it's also going to be about robots or if it might be about something else. I'm so excited to read to you guys tomorrow and I will see your pictures and maybe shout some people out. Thank you for reading. You guys did an amazing job and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.